This video is brought to you by FTC Team Turtle Tech and FLL Team 2x4. The reason I'm making this video is because what I wanted to do for, my, for the FLL team didn't exist. I wanted to make a two-color sensor line follower for the Spike Prime, only there aren't any. So I decided to make one myself. The first thing we need to do is just make a new project. We're going to be using blocks for this. The first block we need to grab is a set movement motors to, well, on our robot, they're C and D. Then we need to make a new variable. This variable is going to be called um, target path. Target path is going to be the ideal line we want both sensors to follow. Um, we're going to be setting it to 45 because that's just the usual number. Because if you take 100, and, which is the typical value for, for white, and then 10, which is the usual value for black, and you average them, you get 45. After that, we are going to make a new variable. This one's a little more fun. It's called KP. Um, this variable is going to be what we're using to adjust the sharpness or smoothness of how our robot follows the line. The sharper it is, the faster you can have it go, and the less likely it is to slip off the line. But you're also more likely to have issues when you stop line following, and it's not as accurate that way. KP is different on all robots, on our ro and all tables and whatever. On our robot, it's typically 0 0.5. Um, you're going to have to just tinker around and see what the best value for yours is. After that, we're going to need a forever loop. And in that forever loop, we are going to put t an if-then block and an if-then else block. In the hexagon looking thing on the if then else block, we're going to put an or block. And in that or block, we're going to put a greater than and a less than block. In the first slot of the um, less than block, we're going to be putting a, um, a reflected light block. And we're going to set one of them to A, the first one to A, and the second one to B. Those are the color sensors on our robot. Then we're going to need two target path blocks. This part of the program is, in this part, if A is seeing white or B is seeing black, it's going to adjust and compensate for that. And we're, for this next part, we're going to have to duplicate it and make, and just change it so that's the exact opposite of what the previous one was. So we're going to change the A to B and the B to A. So for this one, if B is seeing white and A is seeing black, it's going to steer and adjust for that. Next, we're going to need to get a more movement block, um, and we're going to need to get to get the move tank block, even though it's not, not that even though that's not its official name. That's just what it was called. This same block was called in the EV3 software. We're going to set both values on this bottom one to 20, which is a nice slow speed and good for this line follower. We're going to set just the first one on this one to 20, and leave the other one at 50, and we're going to set the second one on this one to 20. Um, after this, we're going to need to go to the operators section. We are going to need to grab a times block from the operator section. Uh, where are they? Yes, right there. A times block, and then in that times block, we're going to place a minus block in, in the second slot. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom one, Oop. only we're going to do it in the second slot instead of the first one. Um, we're going to need a KP block, oh. and we're going to put that in the first bubble slot of both of them. Then we're going to need to go to the sensors and grab a reflected light intensity block. Um, yeah, that one would be A. Then we're going to need to grab a target path block and then grab another reflected light intensity block.
get the t now we're going to get the reflected light intensity blocks. <laughs> set that one to A and set this one to B, and we're going to get need to get another target path block. And that is the entire program for or this first part is just setting everything up, the KP, the target path, what motors we're using. Then this bottom part is all the actual line following code. This it 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 looks complicated, but it's not actually that complicated. Um this first one If A is seeing black and B is seeing white, then it's going to adjust until A is seeing a lighter color. And on the bottom, it's the opposite. If B is seeing black and A is seeing white, then it's going to adjust so B sees a lighter color. And if both of those are fine, then it's just going to keep driving straight. And then here it is in action. And then we're going to reset it so you can see that it actually works for both sides. Thanks for watching.